Hello, history enthusiasts. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey through time to unravel the captivating story of one of the greatest empires in history, the Roman Empire. Let's get started. Our journey begins over 2,000 years ago in the Italian peninsula, where a legend unfolds. Romulus and Remus, raised by a she-wolf, founded Rome. According to Roman mythology, Rome's founding is intertwined with the legend of Romulus and Remus, twin brothers born to the Vestal Virgin, Rhea Silvia, and the god Mars. As adults, the brothers decided to establish a city near the spot where they were found. Disagreement over the city's location led to a fatal quarrel, and Romulus killed Remus. Romulus then became the sole founder and namesake of Rome in 753 BCE, marking the traditional date for its foundation. While the legend is captivating, the historical origins of Rome are complex. Archaeological evidence suggests a settlement on the Palatine Hill dating back to the 8th century BCE, which aligns with the traditional founding date. The early Romans likely consisted of different tribes and groups coalescing into a community over time. The establishment of the Roman Forum, a central hub for political, religious, and economic activities, reflects the city's growth. The Etruscans, a neighboring civilization, also influenced Rome's early development. The Romans adopted elements of Etruscan culture, such as the arch and sewer systems, which played a role in shaping the city. Rome expanded through a process known as Sinoicism the gradual unification of small settlements into a cohesive city-state. The unification of Rome's seven hills and the establishment of a common identity laid the groundwork for the Roman Republic. The leadership of figures like Lucius Junius Brutus, who expelled the last Etruscan king in 509 BCE, and the institution of the Roman Republic marked a turning point in Rome's political structure. From humble beginnings, Rome flourished into a republic marked by a unique system of governance, the Senate, and the expansion of its influence through the Roman kingdom. Our story begins in 509 BCE with the overthrow of the Etruscan monarchy, marking the birth of the Roman Republic. The early Roman Republic was composed of two main classes, patricians, wealthy landowners, and plebeians, common citizens. The struggle between these classes for political power led to the creation of the Twelve Tables, Rome's first written laws. Picture a society of farmers, shepherds, and warriors, resilient and determined. Rome's Senate, a gathering of wise elders, guided the ship of state. Period of the Roman Republic is characterized by political intrigue and military conquests. The rise of powerful figures such as Julius Caesar and the conflicts like the Punic Wars shaped the destiny of Rome. As Rome expanded, so did its influence. Rome fought three Punic Wars against Carthage. The Second Punic War witnessed Hannibal's daring crossing of the Alps and his victories at Cannae, but Rome eventually prevailed. The Punic Wars saw Rome and Carthage clashing for Mediterranean dominance. Hannibal's daring march across the Alps became the stuff of legends, but Rome ultimately emerged victorious, securing its place as a superpower. As the Republic faces internal strife, we witness the transition from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. Now, enter the age of grandeur as Rome transforms into a mighty empire. The Republic gave way to the mighty Roman Empire in 27 BCE, as Octavian, later known as Augustus, became the first emperor. The Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability, began with Augustus and lasted for around two centuries, fostering economic prosperity and cultural achievements. Roman engineering prowess is evident in structures like the Colosseum, the Pantheon, aqueducts, and the extensive road network. The Appian Way, one of the earliest and most famous Roman roads, connected Rome to the southern regions. The Pax Romana settled over the empire, bringing stability and prosperity. Emperors like Augustus, Nero, and Trajan lead Rome to unprecedented heights of power and influence. In the east, Emperor Trajan extended the empire to its greatest territorial extent, 
stretching from Britain to the Middle East. But beware, for power often begets turmoil. Internal strife and succession crises would cast shadows over the Roman throne. As we fast forward, we find ourselves in the third century CE, a time of economic struggles, military pressures, and the infamous barracks emperors. The once unassailable empire faced internal decay and external threats. Gaze upon the rise of Diocletian and Constantine, who attempted to restore order. The Roman Empire was divided into the Western and Eastern Roman Empires during this tumultuous period. The third century saw economic troubles, including inflation and taxation issues. The use of debased currency exacerbated financial instability. Emperor Diocletian attempted to stabilize the empire through administrative reforms, including the establishment of the Tetrarchy, a system with two Augusti emperors and two Caesars, junior emperors, to manage the vast empire. Constantine the Great, recognizing the strategic importance of Byzantium, transformed it into Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, as the new eastern capital in 330 CE. Rome's fate was sealed. The Visigoths, led by Alaric, breached the walls of Rome in 410 CE, marking the first time in centuries that Rome fell to a foreign enemy. The Vandals, under King Genseric, pillaged Rome in 455 CE, causing widespread damage. The last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed in 476 CE by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer, traditionally considered the end of the Western Roman Empire. The Roman Empire's enduring contributions include Roman law, basis for many legal systems today, Latin language, foundation for Romance languages, Roman architecture, and the spread of Christianity, which became the dominant religion in the West. The Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, continued for nearly a thousand years after the fall of the Western Roman Empire until the fall of Constantinople in 1453 CE. As the curtains fall on our Roman epic, let's reflect on the enduring legacy of this great empire. Its influence on law, governance, architecture, and language echoes through the corridors of time. The Roman Empire, a colossus that once stood proud, may have crumbled, but its spirit lives on in the foundations of Western civilization. And so, our journey through the pages of Roman history concludes leaving us with a profound understanding of an empire that shaped the course of human history.